Shoo! What's going on, folks? We're at the ranch. Time to move some dirt. Try to do some stuff with the pond. We are. Uh, we're getting loaded up here. Getting the mule ready. Excited. Oh yeah. Jake's, Jake's feeling it. Stuff on I'm ready for the lake. Yeah, the lake is. Uh, we've only been working on this since October. Yeah, it's it's, been, uh, a it's been a long time. I think I made a baby faster than this lake's getting done. So we are going down. Uh, Chad's out here, which is great. Man, look at the green grass, folks. Starting to start to look like spring. It's a little chilly though. Chad's down there working. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Maybe you guys can comment down below. You know, I've got a ton of footage. I've been documenting the whole build since October. And you know, I, I, what's kind of funny is I made a part one. I was like, clearing the land for the new lake, part one. And that was it. Uh, we never ended up making, cause my part two was supposed to be building the dam and we're still building it. Uh, and it's been, you know, seven, eight months. So I don't know what to do. Like I've been hiding the footage from you. You've still seen what's going on. So I can't really hide much from you. So I don't know when to release or how to release it. Like maybe I just do a, the lake is done and kind of play it all would you guys like that or do you want me just to when chad's done with the dam just make a video about the dam but you're gonna see old footage with it so you'll see the whole thing i mean you guys are probably like Flair, we don't really care to show us the damn dam uh but i i, I think about these things these are the things that keep me up at night it's like how, how do i make i want to make the best videos possible so um if you guys have an opinion let me know otherwise if you're just like just do whatever just let me see that damn dam then i will show you but the plan is we're gonna jump in the big excavator crawl it down into the lake yes i know this is more than likely gonna turn into an i'm stuck vlog which unfortunately man is not here for that because those are his favorite we are gonna crawl it down into the lake and start digging some holes we're trying to get some structure in the lake so chad's about i would say halfway done with the dam right now meaning we We've got maybe a week or two before he's gonna pull the drain pipe and it's gonna start to fill up so we got to get in there while it's nice and dry and make some structure and I don't really know what we're gonna do we got an excavator um, you know there's a creek that kind of runs through the whole thing and then spills into the pond so I'm thinking maybe we'll go and dig some holes along that it's like the channel right the old channel I always know fish always love the channel so maybe we'll dig some holes in the channel there's also some trees we still need to remove that are in front of the cabin so you can see the lake so I can knock those trees over take those trees and pull place them in the holes or in the lake and build up structure. There's also some rocks. I don't really know how to pick up the rocks because I don't have a thumb yet, but Chad's made a bunch of rock piles. So I'll have to ask him if we should wait for the thumb or if he's got any better ideas on how to do it. Maybe we could just scoop it, but we want to build, you know, the lake right now, we've got a blank canvas right now. Chad's digging a real deep hole for the dam. So I mean, we're going to have a nice deep hole, a couple, couple deep holes actually. Um, but I want to go and, you know, build some rock piles, some whoopies, some doopties and, and trenches and whirls and swirls and brush piles and we, we right now it's a lot easier to make structure when the lake's dry right when, when there's water then you're going out there during ice fishing season and you know putting cinder blocks on christmas trees and that's fine but right now we can basically design it like this would be our lake you can have all these trees and this and that and there's a brush pile there this is not the lake we're going over there but just to for, show you guys you know there's a brush pile there's a brush pile go through fly the drone take off like an overhead topo shot of the lake and then you kind of know where all of it is you know where the fish are going to be so today's objective is to I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but just get a real good start on getting the structure for the lake, at least to get the majority of it dug out and spread out. I don't know if we're going to be able to crawl the old dozer down there, dozer Dan. I, I'm the dumbass that didn't buy low ground pressures, which is uh, basically it's wide tracks. It's like walking in deep snow with snowshoes and without snowshoes. I bought the one without snowshoes, and so there's a good chance we'll get it stuck, which could be good for the video. I'll ask Chad. Chad, what do you think? Should I crawl that dozer down there or not? Because we got dozer Dan. Oh, okay. You're itching. You're itching to be dozer Dan today. Dozer, I actually like the dozer. It's grown on me a little bit. So I don't know. Maybe it might be a one man band show with the excavator, or we might get dozer Dan out there. We will see what happens. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right. Well, I don't really know what to show you and what not to show you. I was telling them I've been documenting this for nine months. And I, I made a building a giant lake at the ranch part one. Then didn't post another one after that. October. Yeah. Post two is supposed to be the dam, damn it. So you got Chad's out here digging. So you see he's he's grading it out. So now it's not such a like a steep canal. He's grading it so it's actually gonna flow like a a pond. That's a pretty deep hole. I'd say that's a 10 foot, probably 10 foot hole he's got there. How are you planning on getting your excavator down there again? I was gonna shoot down that ramp. You're gonna take her down this right here? Yeah, I can just send her down. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how else to get down there, to be honest. And I'll have to cross the creek, probably. No, I might not. I might be able just to reach the other side. I've watched some YouTube videos on how to do that, how to cross some creeks and whatnot. So, Chad's out here digging. He's uh, throwing the dirt. You can see the dirt's dumping over there. So they've got, that's about half the dam still. It's been two days, it's still half the dam. I've been saying, oh, he's about half halfway there. He's still halfway there, because I think they're having to spread it on the backside, so it's not going super fast this way. Um, and then what he's doing here, where he dug this all out, he's gonna go do where that packer is on the other side there. Dig that whole hillside down, and we're gonna run the dam over into the desert plot, that light, that light, 
tan yellow grass on the other side way over there. The dam's gonna run across the whole thing. So this will all be water someday, one of these days. So I gotta try to get down there somehow. I think that's not terrible. No. You could get the dozer down there. It's just a matter of how wet it is once you scrape up that yeah. first little bit. Yeah, of that, it. once you get that thatch off of it. I mean, stuck vlogs are my favorite, so I'm, I'm all for it. But it's not, yeah, it's really not as steep as I thought. But look at these, like these are all rocks. Yeah. See, like all, look at those boulders. You should take those. So I could take those. Those are really, really big. So these trees I want gone because the cabin's gonna be here. Uh, and uh, we're gonna, I mean, there's already one brush, that's a real nice brush pile. So you might, I might need Dozer Dam. Cause what yeah. you could do is you could push it. So what I could do is, hole. I say I could dig out the hole, knock out all the trees and then you fill the holes. Just don't go, just don't go in the hole. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, you try, try not to go in the hole, that'd be nice. Uh, but these trees here are gonna go cause I wanna be able to see the lake. I wanna see the other hill. Once I can see the other hill, we'll stop clearing trees and we'll probably clear kind of those. And then what I'd like to do, I don't know if I'll get it around to today, but I'd like to go up the hit the road that way and see what's up there. Like basically fight, like there's some real big trees. Keep that guy, that's a pretty looking tree. But these little bushy guys, they ain't worth much, especially these little cedars. And I'd like to just kind of crawl all the way up the creek where we think the water's still gonna be and knock, basically just make a bunch of lay down. So that when we go fishing, we can be flipping the old banditos into the brush piles, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And some of these, this tree we're gonna take out, although that's a good looking tree, but like that real long one that looks like it's from Lion, the, what's that? Lion King, that's good. doesn't it look like a little African tree? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like sprouting. Uh, so we'll keep, maybe keep that guy, cause that's a cool one. But I mean, we've also got huge, huge brush piles over there. That one's gotta get burned. But I was gonna say, if there's uh, root balls. There's quite a few. Cause we could, we could potentially, road. if we need more, if we need more. Yeah. We could, you could push some root balls to me. I could pick them up. I mean, you could get the skid down there too. It's not, I don't know what it's gonna look on the other hill. I'm just saying like, cause you could grab some brush with the old skiddy, but I think the dozer is probably gonna be the deal. So I, I'll probably go out here. The creek goes that way. Yeah. So I'll have this whole pad to work with, dig it all out, make some holes, push some trees in it. Uh, maybe grab some of these rocks. Chad's got a whole bunch of rocks over there. So I don't know if I'll be able to grab those or not. I could pick up a bucket or a bucket if he hole. could, if he could just get him here, mm -hmm. if he could load them in the truck, back them up here, he could dump them down the hill, you could take the dozer and push the rocks to me, then I could scoop up the rocks and eat them in the hole. Yeah. We might, I don't want to bother Chad because he's doing Chad things, but we might, We're, we have options. Oh, did it get really cold? Yeah, I'm freezing. I'm My hands are numb. I'm so confused right now. Hopefully this, we, got, we better get this equipment starting to warm up. So if you're new here, we just bought, look at the fleet right there. We got an excavator, dozer, that dozer's too small. I'm gonna have to go trade it in for a bigger one, I think. We'll see today, I mean, if you don't get stuck today, maybe we'll be all right, but. Chad thinks I need a bigger one. I also kind of think we need a bigger one, but there's the excavator. She's like, you want to get the dozer going? Yeah. All right, we're going to go get a dozer Dan going. I'm going to jump in the old X and uh, let them warm up for a little bit. They're both fueled up from our last adventure, so we should be good there. Oh, easy there, cowgirl. This sucker's got heated seats and all. I'm going to be cozy and comfy today. Co-pilot, this thing ain't do nothing for me. Who's that? Huh? Is that Chris? Oh, it's Chris. Chris came to fuel up the old muley. He just came down here. He's got the, uh, he brought the old four wheeler. We'll go to talk to Chris. I was like, who the hell's on my four wheeler? I didn't even see him. You see Chris? Chris doing? He's filling <laughs> he up the came. mule. He said, who's on my four wheeler? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. All right, well, we're gonna let him heat up and uh, we're gonna try crawling down the hill and start making some structures. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, well, literally just an hour went by of us trying to plan this out. We just, we can't really make up our minds. So we're just like, you know what? Let's just divide it into sections and conquer it. So. This section right here, the creek goes like this and then comes back around you can see the water there. These trees need to go regardless. We could spend years trying to design the lake and we're like, well, do we want a hump here? Do we want rock here? We can do that tree. Should we keep that tree? Should we tell yeah, we too much going on. We just need to get the freaking equipment down there. This brush pile, we plan to dig a hole and push it into it. And I think that's gonna be the plan with that. Um, Cause that'll be sticking out of the water a little bit. So we need to get it down. So I gotta crawl this behemoth down this hill and uh, I think I should be able to grab some of those logs and shove them enough to the side, hopefully, where I can get past it. That tree, I'll blow out, knock it over. That real tall one in the middle, I think that'd be a good one to keep, if we're gonna keep oh, one, it you think? Cool. It's, huge. it's just a real big, nice tree. I mean, they're all gonna die anyways once you flood it, so it's not like you're, you're already killing the trees, but I think it would look good, um, at least having one tree out here, so it's not just you know, like the Sahara Desert with water on it. Um, and then I gotta kinda go around there, try to snake around the creek. I don't. I may have to build a couple bridges and cross the creek. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna try to get to over here and start digging out that creek so then we can come back around and push these trees into the creek. So that's, we kinda have to dig a hole in the backside, come around, 
push the trees into it. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, if we had a real big dozer and stuff, I would say, well, we can just knock them over and the dozer can push them over. But our do those are big trees and our dozer is not a giant dozer. So I'm going to try to crawl this down there, move that, knock some trees over, get into position, and I'll give you guys an update of where I'm going to start digging, where I'm going to be throwing the dirt, how it's going to lay out. And like I said, ideally, we we're trying to dig some nice big holes that follow the creek channel and then throw the trees in the hole and that should be some good structure for the fish so stay tuned okay all right how are you guys doing you can you see a lot all right let's not go full throttle the steepest hill i've climbed yet or climbed i guess i should fall. steepest hill i've fallen fallen down scary oh nelly easy there cowgirl slow and steady wins that race i promise you guys are probably watching Flair, you're such a little weenie. Well, when you're in a 65,000 pound uh, piece of equipment, going down a steep hill, not all that enjoyable, you know what I'm saying? Easy, let's go ahead and lift that bucket, son. Give her a little bit more of a crawl. I'm trying to use my feet. I could use my hands right now, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a big boy, all right? You gotta be a big boy sometimes. Use them feet. It's a little trickier. We're getting there. We made it, boys. Ground's looking decent. Yeah, I, I actually got to move a lot of these trees. Cause that creek, that creek's right here. I need to go. I don't know if I can get around that tree we want to keep without crossing the creek. It's close. All right, I'm gonna move some of these trees. That wasn't bad. I think I can get around that tree. You think you can? Wow, we're climbing. What are we climbing on? Well, that sounded good. I like that. That's a stunt. I think, think you can get those dozer dan down here. I don't know if I'm climbing on that hill you want to. God, you're close, right? I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Just go straight and slow? But as slow as it can go? Yeah. I mean, what's the worst? Just don't, just don't go sideways. Yeah. Just don't roll it. You ain't going to nosedive. It ain't that bad. I'd be more scared of crawling out. Personally. Yeah. Because you're going to roll it back. I'll back it up the hill. Oh. Now you're thinking. You're not, you're, not like, you're not like Banjo. Banjo would send it straight up and flip that second. Because you can come in here and push some of these trees around pretty easily, I think. But let me uh, let me try to get in position here, and then we'll decide if we need those or Dan or not. Should I just knock this tree out? All right, here we go. Buckle up. Yeehaw, brother. That's what I'm saying. All right, that tree is out of the way. I'm probably going to, I'll leave the stump for now. I just don't want to tear up the ground too bad because I got to make sure I can get through this road. All right, we're making our way through. I think I'm going to be good. Watch out for this freaking thorn bush. All right, I got that tree knocked out. Now I just need to move it to the other side of this area and so I can cross. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have to cross the creek anytime soon, which is good. Just trying to get it away from my tracks a little bit. Come on. Come on. There it is. So I'm just gonna throw this off to the side for now. This tree right next to the boom. I'm gonna try to keep that guy. I'm gonna do what I can. Look at that, right in the creek. You see that? Nice little creek in front of me. So now I need to round this corner and I'm gonna shoot for over here. We're, so far we're doing better than I thought, I'll be honest. I was a little bit nervous. Oh, no! That's the good tree! See, I gotta, that's what I just, I just jinxed myself. I'd not, that tree's probably dead. We might, that thing just exploded. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this little tree out. Push this little guy out of the way. We're almost in position to start digging. So this grass right here follows this ridge. It's a nice ridge. I'm gonna make it even deeper. So I'm gonna pull up here, start digging this out. So here's the water. This is the creek we're trying to widen. There's quite, quite a bit of water in there, honestly. Yeah. It's not bad. So. We'll try to widen this up. This will create a little pool here. So we'll start taking this dirt. I'll start throwing it up there. If we want to move it and spread it later, we can. We'll, we can build a bridge across it with the dozer and let it, I mean, it's probably gonna be wet. So if we did it, we can let it dry out, go back over there maybe next week with the dozer and spread it and pack it in. We're not really sure what, exactly what we're doing other than all these trees, everything you see except for my friend over here. I almost took him out, did you see that? What? My boom almost oh, good hit tree. my good tree. One, yeah, one. all these trees are gonna fall into the hole. We gotta dig the hole first. So. I'm gonna start digging it out. The question is, do we think we can get the excavator on the other side to push them? It's kind of sketchy over there. I mean, we could always cut them with a chainsaw. Worst case, if we can't get equipment over there. I'm nervous coming down that hill. Yeah. But we could always cut them. Because otherwise, I mean, I could push them over now, but I'll just start digging. So anyways, we're gonna start digging some dirt. Stay tuned. All right, 
well, we talked to Chad, so update for you guys. We've been getting after it. Uh, hadn't been vlogging much, but in front of me, as you guys can see, we have a ton of dirt. Um, so I talked to Chad. He's like, listen, man, you're going to have floating debris anyway for the first few months that's filling up. He goes, try to seed it down. So what I did was right over here. I'll show you. I took uh, took one thing of dirt, set it kind of on the trunk end of these trees. And I'm, you know, pack it in like this, lift up the excavator and push it back down just to give it a little bit of stability. I mean, again, stuff's going to, you can see you can pick yourself up, set yourself back down. Stuff's going to float up. But I mean, right in front of me, I, hopefully you guys can see it pretty well, kind of. There's a nice little brush pile. So I, I'm basically, I'm digging it out, I'm throwing the dirt on the, on the right, and as I'm going, I'm pulling these trees. They're not going to be able to get them all like this, but I'm pulling all these trees in. And then I'm about even with the brush pile. Once I get the brush pile, I'm going to try to bring a ton of dirt out, and then uh, Jake can go, go jump in the dozer and push all that. I mean, that's kind of what Chad was like. I mean, yeah, ideally you burn it all, but also fish structure is nice. You're going to have a ton of debris anyway, so... You might as well just do whatever he's like just do whatever you want if you want to make it fish structure make it fish structure if you want to burn it you can burn it no matter what you're going to, have to park the excavator by the outflow and basically pull pull out debris for the first few months anyway so i was like well if i'm already gonna to have to pull out debris we might as well roll the dice and try and get as much as much fish habitat as possible so so i'm pretty much just digging holes it it's going quick but it at the, i mean that was about an hour Ish, I think worth of uh, digging. I mean, I got a decent size hole. I mean, I I bet I'll be digging for another hour to two hours. Oh, wow! See, that's how you flip your old X. Problem is, I'm dumping off to the side of my tracks, and this stuff is super heavy and does not like to leave my buckets. But the water is filling in from this creek. I should have. It's probably not going to really matter. Ideally, I want the creek to keep flowing because uh, I want it to fill up Chad's you know pond lake sooner. We better just hope for some rain. I think it'll be all right. I should have been more careful not to clip the creek and make them basically leave a dam between my hole and the creek. I didn't really think too hard when I started digging, and it's not a big deal. I mean, either way, it's gonna make the water will make its way somehow. It's just either it's gonna be this week or next week, as long as we get a little bit of rain. But you can see I'm taking this dirt and I'm having to push it as good as I can without flipping the excavator on its side. And then I'm going to try to get to the other side of it and pull it towards me because pushing away is not the most enjoyable activity ever. That bucket's three and a half, four feet wide. I bet we're digging down about 10, 12 feet and then throwing some brush on it. So I'm not looking for giant big holes. I mean, you know, Chad dug a, a big giant hole already. I don't really need to do that. I just want to add some contour. You know, the dirt that I'm throwing up onto the other side is going to, you know, lift the elevation. So I want some elevation changes following the creek with some trees mixed in. I feel, I don't know, I'm not a biologist, but I mean, I've bass, bass fished my whole life. Bass seem to like, you know, contours and swells and creek channel bottoms and humps, especially humps are great. So, you know, this dirt that I'm dumping right here, I should be able to drag it out, let it dry out for a day or two, come in with the dozer and build humps. And then we should hopefully be able to put some rocks on top of the humps, stuff like that. Just trying to make it fishy. This is kind of my first time really trying to get some good fish habitat built. Um, besides just throwing in PVC, you know, Christmas tree style deals. Um, it's the first time I've actually been able to sculpt an actual lake. So I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But overall, my idea is just having some different different depths because we're gonna have some different fish, right? Catfish might want some deep water. The bluegills might want some shallow water. So we're trying to give the fish options here, and uh, and then give the bait fish plenty of cover to hide in, and I'll, and you know obviously the bass plenty of uh, opportunity to ambush. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this tree and dump it in that hole I just dug. So I'm going to take it like this, put it on the side of my bucket. Okay, you don't want to pull it towards you, so in doubt, push it away. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. That one looks like driftwood. That one might just float. Let me knock down this tree. There you go. Look at that, right in the hole. Even without a thumb. Your boy. See how the roots are still in the ground? kind of. I might just leave that. I might even pack that in a little bit. That's not bad. A little lay down. Look, a little lay down. I don't know if you guys can see all that, but 
basically creating lay downs. I want to make the lay downs go into the creek, into the channel that I'm making. So that's that's a pretty solid setup right there. And you know, if I want a little bit of dirt, what I can do is if I want to dig my hole here, because this is where the big hole is going to have to be anyway. Take some of that dirt. Actually, that dirt's not that great. There's a lot of grass in there, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm, as you can tell, I'm filling up my creek unintentionally. So. I'm gonna have to dig out this creek at some point. I'll probably throw the dirt right where the excavator's sitting, or move it twice, I guess, it doesn't really matter. But what I'll do is I'll take some good dirt, get down past that thatch grass layer, a little bit more dense, and right on that trunk, throw that on there, and then pack it in there. And that should hopefully just keep the whole, the big tree part in place. Little branches, you're not gonna be able to do much about those pack that in there. I think that's, I mean, I don't know. If I was a fish, I'd go hang out down there, I would think. Right where my teeth are is about water level, so you'll have maybe 10, 10 feet on it. So now I got that tree down. That's most of the trees I gotta knock down right now. Those top ones I'm gonna have to figure out later. Back it up, Terry. I'm going to back it up. Start digging the real deep hole to push this brush pile in, so stay tuned. All right, I got the hole dug, so now Let's see if I can knock this tree. It's a pretty big one. I think it's second to largest. Let's see if I can knock this tree over and into it. Ooh, hang on there, Sheila. We got a little crossing here. These trees are overlapping. The one I want to keep is right over me, so I can't do that. Let me back it up, Terry. When in doubt, back that ass up, son. You're gonna lose a little bit of strength like this, but yeah, you're not probably gonna have much luck. I'll try to push away from me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there she goes. Wow, that's a big shield there. I don't know about I don't know about all that. I don't know if she's gonna fit in the hole or not. I guess we'll find out. Pull her to me. That is a nice brush pile though, I will say. For a fish, she, I'd be one happy camper if I was a large mouth. Out in this neck of the woods. Try to drag it in right into the hole. Maybe even get that stump out of the hole. Like so, without running it into my excavator, that'd be nice. And then I'm probably gonna have to crush some of these limbs down. Like that. This stump is probably a little high, so I'm gonna try to maybe kind of take the tree and do this stump and push it down in the hole and push the basically the bush of the tree down the hole as well. So I can shove. Oh god. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna have it. Rip! I have to crawl the old dozer down here. I don't think I got the strength, boys. I can pull her to me. I guess it's gonna have to do. It'll set. It'll set down in there better like that. That's a real big tree. I mean, that's gonna be a freaking insane brush pile. Basically, I gotta dig a hole for this stump now. This My hole is too small. So remember when I said I'm gonna push that whole brush pile in the, in the hole? Well, I pushed one tree in the hole, and the hole's full. That hole just took me an hour to make. So this right here, I'm putting the dirt here. I'm, this is my road. I'm building my road currently. The creek's right in front of me. I built the road so I can cross it. Oh, hey, how's it going, tree? Let's see if I get rid of this tree. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, well, it flattened it, I guess. Huh. All right. I'm going to have to keep digging. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be... It may take too long. We may just burn that brush pot. I don't know. It may take too long to... I mean, by the time I dig a hole... I mean, I've already been digging for two, two and a half hours, and I don't even think the hole I dug is big enough for all that brush. My bucket's also getting... That's happening. I'm trying to dig, keep the channel where it is. I kind of filled it up on accident, so I'm going to go ahead and dig it back out. So I want this channel to feed that pond that Chad's digging because I think it should be big enough and deep enough so we can start stocking this bad boy, at least with minnows and stuff like that. So I don't really want to reroute the channel if I can help it. I would like it to flow right into there. Now, maybe I'll talk to Jake. When I get over there, what I could do is I could dig a new channel and bypass this curved one, and that way it just goes straight here into it. So, you know, that way we're not worried about, I'm worried about the water coming up and spilling over into the holes I'm making, which is good. Just, I don't really want the water here yet. I want it to fill up the other one first, and I don't know how long it's gonna take, you know. So I, I would like to stock minnows here in the next, you know, any time now, I guess, basically any any day. Um, try to knock some of this dirt off this thing. I, mean, I think we're just gonna have to be, we're just gonna have to live with this tree right here. I don't think there's much. I mean, that is, man, that looks good though. I'll have to get out. I'll just get out and show you guys. That looks amazing. I don't know. We might, either that or I just got to keep freaking digging. 
these uh I don't you know you don't want to like pack the hole filled with uh trees like you know the fish need to be able to swim through it so it can't be just like I'm not trying to bury the trees Does that makes sense I'm not trying to like put the trees in there and then bury it I'm trying to have big open caves so the fish this, I'm telling you the one I just did mint just gotta keep doing that over and over but man does it take a long stinking time even though I'm moving a lot of dirt I mean I'm even taking you look at that I mean that's a way oversized bucket load I mean more than it's probably supposed to be. I'm just trying to move as much as I can, build this road up, and I might just go across that. I forgot there's another brush pile here. Cross that road and start taking care of that and come back and decide what I'm gonna do here. I just don't think it's possible to, uh, I mean, it is, I shouldn't say that. It is possible, I just don't know what what decade it's gonna be when I'm done digging a hole that's big enough for that brush pile. That's the only thing I'm not sure of. All right, I think I'm gonna postpone my uh, brush pile idea and uh, work on crossing a creek it's not that big of a creek I mean it's the type of creek that Chad would just put his tracks up on the other side and give her hell you know I'm just trying not to break this machine quite yet I mean that's not really much of a road but it's better than nothing so I guess we're gonna go give her hell here I didn't fall yet and I think we're over, folks. So this dirt in front of me, just need to pull it back towards me and spread it out a little bit. And that way, maybe we can get the dozer on top of it and pack it in. I mean, you can leave it like this, but I think if it's packed in, you have a better chance of uh, less sediment just going everywhere and making it like kind of a, har a harder structure for the fish. I mean, it, then it'd be like a legitimate hump, not just a pile of mud. I don't know if many fish are going to hang out on a pile of mud. I could be wrong. I'm not a fish, but basically what I'm after, just doing this, pulling that dirt towards me, spreading it out. Like I said, then if it's a little wet today, probably gonna have to come back tomorrow, maybe a couple more days. If it's, well, actually it actually might rain tomorrow, so I might have to wait. But ideally, you let this dry out, bring Dozer Dan out here, and be able to pack it in, smooth it. We can actually sculpt it the way we want. Then you can go and put, you know, it's basically like building a little terrace, building a little mound, then we can come bring some rock on top of it really make some good contours in this lake not just have a bunch of fluffy mud piles everywhere because i don't because i don't think the fish really get too excited about that again could be wrong i'm not a fish I'm just doing what i think is best for those little swimming things so i'm gonna go ahead and pull all this dirt towards me spread it out the best i can let it not dry out in this nice warm sun pack it in we should be good to go <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, I, this is my bridge. Look, that's a nice bridge. I didn't sink. So, uh, we went over, spread that dirt around a little bit, and uh, well, it looks like a mess. Chad's still building that dam. But we were kind of thinking, we're like, man, we, I mean, we want to have some holes, we want to have some brush, but the more of this, the more silt problems you're going to have, which is, I mean, it's not going to ruin the pond, but that's why it's important to come pack it. We just don't want to make more of a mess than we need to, okay? So, this is where the old creek was. This is my, this is my bridge right here. So, this creek ran right there. Actually, it's right back there. So what I'll probably do for now, I mean, I've got that pretty much smooth out. I might smooth out a little bit more. I got to redig this trench back out. So that way the rain will basically let the water flow, keep going into the lake. We don't, I don't want to flood this. This is not what I want to flood. So I need to make sure the water's flowing that way. And then we're not sure that brush pile that I was trying to make a hole for, we went back and looked at it. There's a ton of little sticks and I'm just like, man, I can see 90% of these suckers floating away, clogging the drain, potentially overflowing it. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna crawl the excavator up there. I'm gonna try kind of sorting through it. You know, if only I had a thumb, life would be easier, but you know, COVID. So I'm gonna go through it. There's a few big logs I like. I'm gonna try to shove those logs in the hole. And then those two big trees, I guess including that guy too, if I can get to it, I don't know if I can. Those trees, I'm gonna try to lay down into my contoured structured hole. We're not in it maybe too high, you know, where the water, uh, you know, well, you'll still see it. Maybe we'll leave it. Maybe we'll come back with a chainsaw and chop it up later. It's not really that big of a deal. We just got to get rid of it for now. Like I said, we're going to keep this tree. And uh, so I'm going to push those trees in the hole, kind of finish clearing this out, redig my trench here, and then push a couple of the big heavy logs into the hole as good as I can. But I mean, I'll show you if I'm a bass or catfish or anything, crappie for that matter, tell me this would not be the filet mignon of houses if you were a fish. If I can get around up here to it. Look at that lay down. I mean, tell me that's not the juice. Look, it's already filled with water. Literally a lay down, big old root stump right here, packed in with dirt. It literally comes up right there, runs up. We've got the big holes, 
the swells. We got some water flowage. Look, it's already filling up with water. I mean, that's, that's why I'm like, I don't want to mess this up by pushing a bunch of crappy brush in there. That's actually fishable. I can see so many crappie and bluegills. So that's really what we're after. Big hole, couple contours, and a nice big fluffy tree that's not going to deteriorate for a long, long time. Um, so we're after more of this. Like I said, I'm going to knock these trees down, sort this. We'll bring Dozer Dan. There he is. Hey. Dozer Dan's here. Oh, God, yeah. You excited? Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll try to get that dozer. What we'll, what we'll do is come down here and try to bundle it up so we can still burn it. And that way it don't, it don't have to burn like all this loose. That stuff's just going to float away. So try to bundle it up. And then once we're done with that, we were talking, well, what can we accomplish today that's really going to move the needle? We think opening up the creek channel. So this is the channel that runs all the way up to the cabin. And now you can see the big lake here. So we're just gonna go on knock down tree duty. I'll leave a couple big guys like this. I like this big big guy right here, there's a couple more. I'm just gonna start laying them over, kind of laying them on this side and that side, this side and that side, and go as far as I can uh, today. And that way it's at least fishable. So if you're fishing, I'm imagining you're gonna take your boat, you're gonna be flipping one side, I'm gonna be flipping, flipping, flipping like this brush pile, and then you get to the end, you're gonna flip, and then you're gonna flip the other side, and that's pretty much how you're gonna fish that creek efficiently, effectively, and to get as many bites as possible, um, and, and have the most volume of water possible. So trying to make it easy for fishing, so you can at least target the fish that are in here. So we think laying everything to each side of the creek is probably gonna be the best bet, so that you'll see that later today. But for now, let's get to knocking these trees in the freaking hole. All right, creek is... I'd say done. I mean, it ain't gonna flood. That's all that matters. It ain't, a, it ain't a pretty creek. Don't ask me to make you a dish. I don't think it'll flood the part that I'm worried about it flooding. And actually, it's flowing this way, so it'll be all right. Good enough. All right, now for the fun part. Knock some more trees down. I got really dirty, so that's good. Some of that off there. Let's go knock some trees over. That's the stump dreams are made of. Dude, tell me they ain't gonna catch fish out of this stuff. Oh god, yeah. Dude, this is gonna be bluegill heaven Dude, right look, here. look at all of this. That's a lot of brush. That's a lot of brush. Like this is probably the amount of brush you have in your pond right now. Oh god, probably yeah. Probably all in right one here. Area. All these stumps right here, there's gonna be fish on them. So I was trying to leave the base of them. I could flip them up, but I mean, that was the trench I dug. That giant hole. I mean, it's filled with laid out. I mean, it's, I don't know what lure you're casting and getting back, but man, there's gonna be some fish in that sucker. I mean, this looks so, so we're thinking the water's, actually the water's probably about, maybe about right here. Yeah, about where our feet are. So you be casting. Yeah. I'd like to pick up about half of that and put it there. So, and we still could, it's just right now with the excavator, you can't. So we'll just have to wait and see if I can get my thumb in time. I'm sure we will. But I, yeah, I'd like to grab those, honestly, the ones I just threw in there, but yeah. there's the hole. You can see there's the beginning. I mean, that is, talk about fish heaven. Look at that. Literally all the fish are just gonna be hanging out in there. That is absolutely crazy. You got it. If I can come and get the excavator down here with the thumb, I'll grab a, like maybe three or four of those real big ones and throw it here. So that way, you know, our prime fishing is gonna be in front of the cat. Cabin's right here. Come down here, be given basically right here. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't know. We're gonna be, under we're gonna be underwater right here. You think so? Yeah, I think it's so. It's gonna be pretty close. What's Chad doing? He's I thought taking. he was leaving. I saw, I saw him walking around. Was he just getting a Scooby snack or something? Dude, look how crystal clear this is. Oh my gosh, this lake is gonna be nuts. We just, like thing is we're gonna completely mess it up with all that, but maybe eventually it'll, look. Look at the water. That is crystal clear blue water. If that's what our lake looks like, we can put some cool fish in here. Some smallies. Smallies. Yeah. Trout. So he said there's a rock layer here and that's why it looks like that. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna muddy it up a little bit, especially, you know, Dingus over here making all this mud piles. But I mean, dude. Yeah, it's too bad you couldn't take insane. off, like, cause you can see where the rock is. Yeah, you like skim it all too off. Too you couldn't take this top like five foot yeah. off, so the whole thing is like The whole thing off. is like that. So what we're thinking is, uh, I think, Ch I mean, Chad looks like he's done, you know, basic, I mean, done as in, he's not borrowing more dirt from here. So what we're thinking is maybe in another video, maybe you'll see that here in a week or so, is once we kind of get done with our shenanigans, I'm thinking he's got this bridged off right now. I think uh, I want to blow this out and so and dam that up. So that way the creek flows into here. Then we can get some minners floating around in here. I mean, look, I mean, imagine our fit. I mean, you'd be able to see them. You'd be able to get count the, how many minnows you have. Get the bluegills have. going. You'll blue, get the bluegills in here, get the minnows in here. But I mean, that's how much dirt it took just to raise that half of the dam. That is crazy how much dirt that is. But yeah, I like how he's sloping it with all this rock. I mean, seriously, that's small mouth heaven right there. Literally. Take a little tube jig, little tube this? jig, yeah. little rattling Ned. We might have to, we might have to. So uh, anyways, we got the brushes in there now. Like I said, we might rearrange it once I get my thumb. But for now, I think we're good. 
let this dry out, dozer it. So as far as that brush paw goes, we just leave it and light it and hope for the best. I mean, I don't, or I don't know. I mean, is ash gonna float everywhere? Do we need to excavate it with, wait till we have the thumb and get it out of here and then light it on fire? I mean, that's maybe a question for Chad. So for now we can leave it. For now we can leave it. Um, I'm gonna get to clearing some more, some more trees. I'm gonna basically shoot all the way up that creek, start knocking down trees. I'm gonna try not to position them too much. Just try to knock them out. So that way, basically by the end of today, you'll be able to look down this and see I'm going to I'm going to Narnia. I'm going to the cabin. Stay tuned. This is where you get your uh, your wings or something. Uh, what, what's that called? Huh? You, you become a man. You earn your stripes. That's me. I'm earning stripes or something. I got to cross this ditch. Worst case, I'll say worst case, I could pull it towards me. Or should I just try it? I think you should try it. It's, it is it is it a hill though? I mean, can I climb it? See what I'm saying? I mean, look at the elevation change. You think I can get her? Yeah, right. You want to do it? No, oh, okay, I see. Oh, God, no. All right, all right. You got it. Right. still scary my guy it just I mean I don't know what, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen I don't really know but I still I was able to cross I could have built the bridge but you saw how long it took me to build it tear it out it took actually quite a long time so yeah, that was way, faster. way faster I'm getting better all right time to knock some trees out I think I hit my ass end on something. Man, look at these scratches. Don't you like buying new equipment? Oh yeah, there it is. That's that's a pretty one. I like that. Those are the kind you want. That was that son of a gun right there. Swung right into it. But it's all right. It all buff. So what we're gonna do, or what I show you what we did do, is what I should say, is I I mow down all these trees here. This is the creek. You know, this is this the you know, there's water there. So this is the creek that wraps, and we were fooling around down there. So I was like, well, if I'm a fish, I'm probably gonna follow that creek channel. So we're loading up the brush. We may decide to, to thin it out later. I don't know. I probably need to call a, a biologist or something, but you know, there's still some, I'm leaving the stumps. You can see there's some, still some fishing. So there's a big ledge right here. So drop off and then goes up. So kind of, we're throwing everything in the ditch. I'm gonna go over here and clear the trees in front of the cabin. So the cabin is gonna be right along that ridge over there. You can see there's the uh, excavator over there. I'm gonna knock down all these trees so that way when you're sitting in the cabin you look at lake and I'm probably gonna have to knock out all these too in that case but this is gonna be multiple parts I mean I, I we're, Jake and I were talking I'm like do we just do building the lake part one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I mean you guys have to let us know I mean by the time it's uploaded I'll probably have it decided but it's kind of those things like we could spend months out here moving this, and I'm not going to but you know what I'm saying like there's a lot to be done I'm just trying to pick and choose my time use my time wisely you know, we've been out here working for about six hours so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these trees. I'm gonna leave Big Chungus, that, that's the, that African looking tree, the one that uh, the, from the Lion King. So knock out all these trees, maybe even lay them up against the banks and then you can flip them, we'll see. And then hop this creek and start knocking down all these. And so there'll just be one big giant brush pile that runs all the way up the creek. You should, in theory, be able to put your boat on each side of the creek so you can either, if you're, basically if I'm on that side, I can choose, I can flip the bank or I can cast into the channel. And if my boat, my boat would be basically right where I'm at right now, you know, driving down the lane here fishing, I can either throw into the channel or I can flip the bank. That's kind of what we're trying to design it as. So that way, you know, if Jake and I are fishing, pool jet banjo, whoever it is, it's like, hey, you fish deeper in the channel, I'll fish shallow. And that way you can go down and fish both sides. You get to the end, you jump on the other side of the channel and you can fish both sides. We're trying to make it, basically take this and make it the most fishable water. There's not a ton of space back here, you know, maybe three, four acres between all this, like, I guess, jungle is what you could call it. So we didn't want to make it where you make one pass and then have to leave, or you got to make 69 passes. I'm trying to make it efficient and effective for fishing. So anyways, there's your update. I'm going to keep knocking out some trees. Shoo! 
Ooh, all right, well, we got to talk about the jungle. You, we can get some water in this bad boy. These fish are gonna be happy. I mean, look at this. I was crossing stumps and whatnot. Look at these. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna lay that guy on top of this guy, and they're all gonna be branched up there. I'm gonna leave, this was the, the Lion King one, so we're leaving him. The other thing we're gonna try to do is whatever trees we leave, try to bundle trees around it, right? This is a giant, giant pine cedar tree, whatever, whichever it is, I don't know if it's pine or cedar, but that's another really good one. So I threw it and I pulled it, see how this hump right here? So it kind of rolls over the hump. So I'm trying to, you know, make it, uh, I don't know if I was a fish, like I said, try to think, think like a fish. But that pile of Chad's burning anyways. I don't know if that'll get into this or whatever. So I don't wanna to put too much time into like stacking stuff. Well, ideally we can stack after he burns it, but all that loose brush that came from the pad. So. He'll burn all that and that should be nice and open. The cabin will be up there. We need to knock out basically everything but the Lion King tree all needs to be knocked down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross. We got two creeks to cross. Told him to call me the, the creek crosser. The creek That's me. Yeah, so cross two creeks, go up there, try to knock out the rest of the trees besides this big bad boy. And we should be, we should be good to go. And I'm gonna kind of stand up there, take a look. I think the next thing we're gonna be able to do is uh, go get a laser so we can figure out where the water is going to be. Is it gonna be right here? Is it, oh, what's this guy going on here? Oh, Coors Latte. What's this guy have? Oh, with bullet holes. Nice. That's 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 quality stuff. We need to figure out where the water is going to be, so then we know. You know, we can take a stump like that, and we can lay the stump on the bank and have it run into the water. Ideally, down this whole bank, you would just have laydowns, and I just want to be able to big flipping and pitching guy. So I want to be able to flip the laydowns, turn around, cast into the brush pile, go all the way down, flip around, and then do the same thing. Flip the, flip the laydowns, flip the brush pile, and this is going to be the bass. Haven. I mean, the whole thing is Bass Haven. This is especially going to be Bass Haven. So, um, anyways, cross the creek. Does that look good? This is where, so right here, I mean, we're standing right where the cabin's gonna be. Bam! Now you can actually see. I mean, there's some. That's the burn pop. Man, does it look different from up here? Different. Wow, this looks so good. So I try to keep the uh, the root of it, the stump here, so you can fish the lay down. But so this is basically water. So yeah, so that way, come down here. I mean, we can grade this out, pack it in, make it nice, whatever, and you can fish. Boom! Hitting them lay downs right there. Boom! And we've got this high road. The creek runs on both sides. That was where we dug. Chad's got a lake over there still. So it's looking good. We left that big tree. I will probably, when he goes to burn that, I'll probably crawl down there and knock over a couple more of them little trees. Uh, Cause I kind of want to keep it open like this. That's going to be a lot of tree removal. So we'll have to come up with a strategy on that side. If we, if we want more water, which I think probably do want more water. The thing is knocking these trees over one, they're going to die anyways. They're not hurt nothing. When they, once there's water on it, they're gone. Whatever's above water does the fish no good. So you're better off smacking them over, leaving the stumps like I am, flipping the stumps and then flipping the brush. I mean, like for the sake of fishing, it actually makes way more sense to knock them over. I do want to leave, a, like I said, a couple of these nice big ones, which I think look good. So that way the, there's, you know, there's still something to look at, but uh, not a bunch of, like that bushy stuff's gotta get, we gotta get. It was, uh, I also don't want this whole thing to be just one giant brush pile. You want to isolate it, because if the whole thing's one big brush pile, you ain't gonna be able to find the fish. 
you gotta isolate the fish. So that way it's like, boom, fish there, fish there, fish there, fish there. You don't wanna have to fish seven acres to figure out where the damn largemouth are. You know what I'm saying? So I'll have to talk to Chad and see if he wants to partake in a uh, tree excavation day. It'd be sick if I had a thumb. That'd make life a little easier. But you know, if I go out there and I knock them all down and he comes out and helps move them and uses his dozer and our dozer and we move them all, maybe we can clear that side on another day. But for now, we dug some real deep holes. Chad got a deep hole and we made some decent structure. So I think for today, that's gonna be the day. We, we didn't eat lunch, so I'm freaking starving. I need to go get some food in my system. But overall, I think it's looking super good. If you guys have any ideas on how we should lay it out, definitely let us know. Let us know what you think. I mean, I said we're kind of new to this whole thing, but from what I can see, I would see largemouth loving what we got going on here. All sorts of humps and like them all, them humps, all that stuff. The deep holes that are now filled with all that brush. We're gonna have some humps that we're gonna have to flatten out and smooth out. We gotta get the rocks involved somehow. You know, some of you guys are probably thinking that we need to make some artificial structure, which we do, but yeah, I mean, this does pretty good too. I mean, this looks this looks pretty darn good. I think our artificial structure, if we are gonna do it, probably gonna be where Chad did all that grading over here, cause that will be a little bit more bank accessible, I think, not as steep of a hill. So kind of right down here, he's got a couple shelves. So he's got the deep hole shelf, and then that another shelf. The water's gonna be there still, so. I don't know, is this is this flag water? Maybe this is the boat ramp. Maybe Chad already said, hey, here's your boat ramp. But he, Chad's already got a few shelves built in. So we're thinking artificial structure throughout here would probably make more sense since you can cast from shore and just leave leave the, that's the bass bakery back there. Leave it kind of how it is, knock some more trees over. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm hoping next time we can get out the dozer once that's all dry and get some dozer work done, it'd be nice. Then Dozer, Dozer Dan over there, you can get you can get to work. They get two machines rocking and rolling, get a lot more done that way. But I would say for one day, beefcake construction took care of business. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Because